now let us see question number 13 number 3 what to do we have to solve graphically that means using the graph by plotting the graph then we have to find the vertices of triangle also the area of triangle formed by the equation and the x-axis so first of all let's frame the equation to plot the graph uh, equation one we have to be x minus y plus one equals zero y here is minus i transfer that side it will become plus there is no number with y so no need to divide it remain like that x plus one name it as equation one then we plot the graph you can choose any value for x then we can calculate for y because x is this side so if we choose 0 1 minus 1 you can choose any value okay so now we'll calculate in the rough side for y everything remains same only in place of x we will change in place of x we have 0 because there is no number to multiply so 0 plus 1 we get 1 then next we have x equal to 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 then in place of x we put minus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 minus so we have to minus 1 minus 1 will become 0 so now let us plot the graph so remember when you plot okay this is x-axis this is y-axis and remember to take exactly on the bold green one then remember to name the positive side as y negative y prime negative x prime the positive as x this horizontal we call it x-axis this vertical we call y-axis and the origin we call it as zero now we have zero one x is 0 y is 1 so it will be exactly on 1 okay then next we have 1 2 x is 1 we always check the horizontal then y is 2 so you can take directly 1 2 here okay then next we have minus 1 0 x is minus 1 y is 0 so it will be exactly here okay so you can join the graph see that we should get a straight line if you don't get a straight line that means there is something wrong with our calculation okay so but here we get a straight line okay so you extend it because remember it have to cut x-axis now let us see for equation 2 equation 2 what we have we have 3x plus 2y equal 12 so here 2y is plus let it remain here we have 12 this is plus bring the side will become minus then y it will be equal to here we have into we bring the side it will become divide so this one become equation 2 now again we plot the table to choose any three value for x and then calculate for y you can choose any okay but choose in such a way that easy for you to plot and it is within the range otherwise if the value is too big we may not have enough graph to plot so let's take it as zero because we see the number are small so we can take small number no problem then now in place of x we'll replace with this okay so we will have 12 minus 3x so that mean 3 into 0 divided by 2 3 into 0 0 12 minus 0 12 12 divided by 2 we get 6 then next we place 1 12 minus 3 into 1 divided by 2 3 into 1 3 12 minus 3 will be 9 
9 we divide by 2, we get 4.5. Then next in place of x, we put minus 1. 12 minus 3 minus 1. Here we have 2 minus, okay? 1 from the question. 1, this one we choose. So minus 2 minus plus 3 into 1, 3 by 2. So we have 15 divided by 2. 2, 7, 14. Then we put decimal 0. 2, 5 is 10. So here we have 7.5. Okay, so we finish to calculate. Now let's plot the graph. Here we have 0, 6. So x is 0. We have oh, x is 0, y is 6. So we mark it here. It will be exactly here. You name, okay, 0, 6. Then we have 1, 4.5. We have 1, then x is equal to 4.5. So you go to 4, and then count small 5, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you mark it here. Then next we have minus 1, 7.5. x is minus 1, so here. Then y is 7.5. You go up to 7. Then from 7, you count this small 5. You count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You mark it there. Then after that, again, we can plot. Clear? You see? Join them in such a way that we will get a straight line. So if you get a straight line, that means the answer is correct. Okay? And remember, because the graph ends till here only, so we have to extend until it cut x-axis because we want to find from the question, okay? They say find the vertices formed by the line and x-axis. So after we plot the graph properly, it will come something like this, okay? So now we have to solve, remember? So we need to see this point where they intersect. So here you see x is equal to 2, then y equal to 3. So you can write after the calculation properly, okay? We can write from the graph x equal to 2, y equal to 3. That means the point where they intersect. Next, we have to find the vertices. The vertices will be this one because this is x-axis. Here we have x is minus 1. x-axis y will become 0. Then here you see x is equal to 4 because it is x-axis y will be 0. Then we have this one, 2, 3. So the required vertices are minus 1, comma, 0, 2, and, comma, 3, and 4, comma, 0. Next, we have to calculate the area. So we'll take this one as the base, this one as the height. So we can write as formula for area, okay? Half base into height. Then AC, we can count how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the height, 1, 2, 3. So 5 into 3, 15. 15 divided by 2, we get 7.5 square units. So let's see, do we get 7 or not? This one half, this one half, we can take 1, okay? This one full, so 2, 3, 4. Then this one almost full, 5, 6. This one and this one, we can take 1, 7. So we are left with this one half, half min 0.5. So we calculation also we get 7.5. From the square here also we get 7.5. So that means the area is 7.5 square unit. We get all the part of the question. That's the end of it.